Oh, hello there, welcome back. It is the Craft Vault. It's the second edition of the Craft Vault. I'm not on my own. Leanne's here as well. How are you, Leanne? I'm very well, thank you, Joe, and incredibly excited to show you everything we've got in this amazing Craft Vault. Absolutely, so much coming up. Let me start with this awesome me mega deal uh, that Leanne has hand selected for you. It was so busy, it's Leanne's star by earlier. You get the basics, the neutrals, the earth tones, you get the white cardstock, and you get the storage as well. £44 or $64. Let's share with you what else is coming up on the show as well because there is so, so much coming your way. Uh, the spiral pop outs, they are coming up on the show for you as well. Uh, they were very, very busy in the earlier show. £33 or $38. Can't wait to see those a little bit later. We've also got the flower forming collection available on the show for you as well. £29 or $41.50 if you want to get your hands on those. The Nativity Collection, Nature's Garden, that's going to be on the show for you. £22 or $27. Three awesome bits there for you that we'll be sharing with you a little bit later in the show as well. And loads more. Don't forget, you can get in touch with us in all the usual ways. Uh, if you've got any pictures, maybe you're making things with some of the stuff on the show, uh, we would absolutely uh, love to see those creations as well. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Right, I know Leanne is uh, like a coiled spring over there, ready to get going. So uh, over to you, Leanne. I thought we'd have a look at our classic markers. Why not? Because that was the highlight of the last craft fold this morning. You absolutely loved our alcohol markers. I thought before we start looking at some of the new things that we've got, why don't we just have a little refresh? Because some of you might just be waking up and you might not have seen what we were doing earlier. So let's have a look at how they work because it really is, it is definitely my pick and picked and they are fantastic. Now the other thing we've got on this craft fold for you is this fabulous foam mat and this little platform here, this little 4 by 4 I believe you've got the 6 by 6 one as well and you're getting the 4 by 4 free from memory. Um, you do get the 4 by 4 free when you pay for the 6 by 6 on the mat. How well, awesome is that? there you go. It is awesome because it's perfect for your smaller stamps like this. And having this sponge, this lovely firm foam mat underneath, mimics what it was like to have your wood stamps years ago with that oh, foam inside. Okay. And gives you the perfect... Um, density of surface if you're just stamping onto a glass mat or a hard table it can be difficult sometimes to get a perfect impression it's got the right amount of give that's awesome. the word i'm looking for joe the right amount of give to give you a wonderful um stamped result every single time that's my mucky fingerprint um oh leanne i got my thumb in the ink and look it's the well, not, in, uh, just to show you how much charlotte was gonna zoom are. right in on it then sorry I thought Charlotte was going to zoom right in on it then. I did. I thought, look at Leanne's big mucky fingerprint. Oh, craft scene investigation. Oh, Loads no. of people saying hello. Uh, Heidi, Melissa, Fred, Mary are watching. Mally is watching in Maui. Mally are from Maui. Wow. Uh, what time will it be in Maui now, Mally? Is it, uh, I think it's 9am. I could be wrong. I think it's 9am. Not a clue. Not a clue. Maui, uh, M-A-U-I is how you spell it. It's not how you thought it would be similar, would it? 9 a.m. Boom, check oh, me out. Look at that. Look at I'm like a talking clock. Woof. You are like the talking clock. Yeah. I, would, I would imagine the talking clock. I don't clock charge though, like so you. it's fine. <laughs> you don't charge on the talking very clock. Very expensive, the talking clock. Yeah, My is. auntie and uncle once ran up a very huge, a very, very big bill once. Do you ever do that thing? Remember when you had landlines and no mobile phones? When my uh, uncle used to work away, wherever he was, rather than having an alarm clock, because he didn't have a mobile phone, it used to, used to be a service you could call on BT, and you used to be able to set a morning call. You'd be able to say, hello there, uh, can I get a morning call please in the morning at 9.15? Yes, we'll call you on the landline. It was like £2.50, honestly. They run up an extortionate bill. How times change. Wow, how times do change. Now I'm using the primary set here and um, the primary set has a really good range of colours in. And what I want to do is show you, the reason I've got this collection together is you don't have to worry about transitioning from one colour to the next in the same colour family. You can start to use different colours. Now what I've got here is I've got blue and I've got yellow and where I've crossed the two over I've got green. But if I want to smooth the transition between the two, I can do what is called a palette blend. Awesome. So I can put a little bit of the blue down there, scoop that up with the yellow, 
and then from the blue into the yellow look it makes green for me and then goes back to yellow and you get that lovely transition between the colors how lovely does that look it makes Beautiful. it very easy for you so you can start you can use these colors just as they are if you want to color something in or you can do this palette blend technique which i absolutely love and you see what i'm doing is i'm scooping up some blue i'm going into the yellow and then i'm letting that blue flush out of the nib onto my coloring which then gives me that lovely transition from blue through green into yellow and you can do that with a couple of the different color combinations in here uh, joe for example let's have a look at the purple and the blue so i'm going to put some purple down um, and i'm just going to work on this next butterfly actually i'm just going to chop that up I'm also just liam so just to have a little think about it, i know we didn't really cover it in the earlier show what can we use these on to because i was blown away when i first learned you know about the different surfaces. because you think about really just stamping something out and coloring it in don't you but there's more uses than that, isn't there, for alcohol markers? There's loads more uses. So you can colour, I mean, I'm just thinking if I had any here to show you, I would. Um, you can colour your glass gems in with Ooh. them. You can colour onto pearls with them. You can colour your ribbon. You can colour wood. You can colour fabric. You can colour anything you like. And um, I now only buy white buttons, white clear gems, white pearls, white ribbon. And when I'm working on a project, I dye that ribbon to the colour of the project I'm working on that I'm colouring with my marker. Um, and again, there is lots and lots of masterclass and YouTube and Odd Crafters TV where we take you through all of the details um, and how to use your alcohol markers to their very best advantage. We've, we can only show you a tiny little soup song of it here, but there is so much available for you on our website. There is indeed. But get yourself over to the Crafters TV area area of the Crafters Companion website. There's hours and hours. Um, I think there's at least two Colour Me Happies featuring uh, our classic markers. So there's four hours of inspiration education right away, right off the bat. And the great thing is when we bring you things like colouring mediums and, and new pen systems and colouring systems, there's, you know, we're not going to charge you for that education. I know that there's definitely brands out there that, you know, will sell you a pen system and then will then sell you, uh, you know, the hours of education in which you need to then learn how to use it, which just seems counterproductive to me. We'll always make the education for our colouring systems available to you and it'll always be available free of charge on our website, across on YouTube, uh, or you can save and share any of our shows to be able to come back and access and they live forever basically on the web, on YouTube and across on Facebook. Absolutely. Now I've did that with the purple and the blue there. So you can see I've managed to get a lovely transition and you could do the whole butterfly of course. Just doing my palette blend technique and then I've got vi a purple through violet through blue. Oh that's we can, lovely. We can do the same with the red pen that I've got here. So I'm going to, a red and orange I've got. So I've got red and then I'm going Would to... Would you ever touch nibs? You can touch nibs. Absolutely. I'll, in fact, I will touch nibs for you right now, Joe. Thank you very much. Um, in, a, so, in the most COVID safe kind of way, of course. Absolutely. Look, so you can do it actually is a form of palette blending because it's just picking up that colour, transferring colour from the red into the orange marker um, by touching the nibs like that or by scooping it up off the palette blend. Oh. Entirely up to same, you. Same. same effect. Same, same. So you're just putting the red colour there onto the tip of the nib and then as we colour, the orange it will flush that red out okay so if i do this now you'll see it'll go from the red which is where i've done the exactly as you said touch nibs and now it's starting to change it depends oh, wow. how much color you put on there and it changes 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 and now we're back it's all flushed out and we're into the true color how fabulous i love it's very, it it's very easy to do now we can continue to do that and let's say i pick up the yellow pen now if i pick up the yellow and I touch nibs with the orange. You'll be able to see it a lot more, actually. Can you see how the orange is going onto the nib of the pen there? You can. So, yeah, it's picking it up. There we go. And then what we're going to do is with the yellow, colour alongside the orange and flush it out, bring it all the way down. And that now moves from an orange into a true yellow oh i love it and you're just flushing it out um, and that's how you get that lovely and this is what i mean about don't worry about the pens in these sets not always following in the um 
order of you know all of the CTs, mm. CT1234, because actually using your palette blending technique, all of this is possible and available to you. They're brilliant, and, and you can just colour flat with them as well if you want to, of course. Um, but it does work an absolute treat for you, Joe, and all of the sets will work like that. Mm, absolutely, and they're great quality uh, as well. If you, uh, they're kind of like top of the tree, really, aren't they, when it comes to the alcohol markers they that we are. bring you. Um, and I know um, before you spoke about the nibs and the quality of the nibs, and that's what really makes the difference, isn't it, Leanne? Yes, they're Japanese nibs. And so, I mean, anybody who knows anything about uh, pen manufacturing, to have the very best, you have to have a Japanese nib in your marker. And so we have Japanese nibs, but the ink formulation in our markers is proprietary to Spectrum Noir and Crafters Companion. So you will not find this ink off the shelf in any other marker. So nobody can buy this ink, nobody can use this ink, and nobody can have this ink in their markers except for Crafter's Companion and Spectrum Noir because it is our formulation. There are many alcohol markers out there where you can go to trade shows, you can pick a marker, put your brand on it and sell it. Um, and lots of other people have that same ink, ink formulation. I've seen those markers myself when I've been at those trade shows. With our markers, we do not take that off the shelf ink. It's proprietary to us and you get a superior blend and the quality that you've seen me do there with the vibrancy because it is a unique formulation to Spectrum Noir. Awesome. Keep your hands off or she'll have you. That's what she's saying. Uh, right, if you want to get them as well, what you're getting is you're getting the basics, the neutral, the tones, and you're getting the earth in there as well. They're the four packs of uh, pens that you are receiving. You're going to get as well the Nina cardstock and you're getting the storage as well in there. So you're getting two packs of the Nina um, cardstock actually. So really, really great value. £44 becomes £35.20 as a platinum member. $64 becomes $51.20 as a platinum member, which is great, great value for money. Uh, we're going to move on and look at these. I can't believe we've got these on the show because they are $19.99 each, these pads, worth every single penny of them. It was when we launched the Diorama range, I think we launched uh, these pads a while back, and they are our textured car socks. Before they, we'd done these, we always did the 8x8 textured car socks. It's the first time you'd seen them in the 12x12. Now, they're $19.99 each if you're in the UK, normal price, and they're worth every single penny of that. When you buy the three of them today, it's like you're getting almost one free of charge. So you're, you know, you're paying, um, yeah, so you'd get, you're getting one of them uh, free of charge, almost. However, if you're a Club Inspired Platinum member, it's 33 pounds and change to get these today. It means that they go from being 19.99 to 11 pounds if you are a Platinum member. It's amazing value for money. You've got the sunflower in here as well. Double-sided, white core, uh, with the most beautiful, vibrant colors. That was a sunflower. This is the warm tones as well, and I'm going to say it, sexy red high heels, that is what it reminds us of. Absolutely, look at those gorgeous, lush tones that you've got in there. 41.97 or 52.39, uh, depending on, of course, where you are shopping, which is awesome. You've got a great saving there on those. Right, uh, something else I need to share with you is the Nativity Collection. Uh, we were talking about earlier, myself and Leanne were talking about how incredibly popular all of the Christmas cre uh, collections were that uh, we launched in the run-up to Christmas this year. This one, absolutely no exception. This is your uh, Nativity range. This is the Star of Wonder. Uh, this is the embossing folder here that you've got, which is absolutely awesome. This next one is a cut and emboss folder, which is the Christmas Angel that you can see. That one's been a very popular. I've seen a lot of shaker cards done with that one. And this one, love this. Uh, this one is called a king is born i've seen this we've done with a lot of different techniques from um acid stained glass window techniques i've seen these paper pieced as well you guys have got really creative in how you've put these together 22 pounds or 27 dollars if you want to get your hands on this 30 percent off uh, is your saving which is awesome you can of course use your club inspired discount discount on top of that as well which is brilliant a lot of you chatting away malia in maui is having a nice cup of chamomile tea and her crafter's companion mug watching on the big chelly telly chatting on the laptop with you all uh, what a great morning uh, she also says, I keep forgetting, we can do all these colouring on everything, like Leanne said, and blend like that. Oh, what am I like? Uh, Hannah Horn says, just beautiful. Is that stamped from the Butterfly Meadow? Oh, I don't know if it's from the Butterfly Meadow. We can check. Uh, Aisha saying as well, Leanne Chivers, loving you in that green today. Uh, that pendant uh, is beautiful. Um... <laughs> I don't, Leanne, Leanne wants my uh, dies. I've only got the board, Leanne, not the die. So I can't give you the die. I don't, I don't have the die. Sorry. 
Oh, she's, she's um, yeah, she's fuming. She's absolutely sad. She's not really. She's just gone back over there. Hello. <laughs> sulking now. Absolutely sulking. She's not got her dyes. Uh, Susie T says, hoping you, hoping for a happy birthday shout out from Joe. Happy birthday, Susie T. I hope you are having an awesome birthday. Such a, an amazing inspirational to the, uh, day today from watching Leanne on CTV and everyone on HSM. Fun playing in my craft room as well. Uh, Kate says, I just received the cardstock paper set. That bundle is awesome isn't it? Oh, let's just plot twist. Uh, found them. Where were they? Um, never mind. Sorry, where were they? Never mind. Oh, okay. In the where they were meant to be. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, right, what are we doing now? Oh, should we have a look at what else is coming up on this show? I don't know why I went up quite a few times. Cats around the, around the world heard me there. Uh, the Sharon, oh my word. How have we still got any of these left? I love these. I think they are absolutely fantastic. 80% gone. Shut the front door. You need to get those in your basket. And you need to get them checked out. These are awesome. They're very sort of cubic and geometric. And you can spritz through them. You can ink through them. You can paste through them. Use them as embossing folders. You know, you guys know how I feel about tags as well. Uh, you've got the wonderful tags there too. So you're going to be able to use those in exactly the same way. £6.78 or $10.18 is your price there on those now you should all have at least one set of alphabet dies in your crafty stash and these are an awesome awesome addition they are our balloon alphabets you get the stamps and you get the dies there as well which is absolutely uh, fantastic uh, brilliant get those 17 pounds for 27 dollars uh, these ones here the interchangeables uh 34.50 or 46 dollars the great thing about these is you're getting uh, six sentiments. So you're basically getting six credit card dies for the, that price there. So you get the trellis frame and you get you the elegant frame as well, which is awesome value for money. Great saving and you can use Club Inspire discount on that as well. Uh, I know one of Leanne's most favourite recent launches here, uh, these uh, spiral pop-out uh, dies. She loves them. £33 or $38 uh, is your price there on those. We're going to see those a little bit later as well. Uh, right, loads of you still chatting away. Panda Crust says, hi, I'm colouring using my classics. As is my old daughter, we also go into a colouring coma as well. Um, I wonder what brings people out of a colouring coma. The smell of anything, the smell of any kind of food cooking. Oh, you get me to do anything uh, for the smell of a smell of a cooking bacon sandwich. Oh. Oh, can you tell I'm hungry? Can you tell it's dinner time here in the UK? Or, well, dinner time is in evening meal, supper time as they call it in this part of the world. Um, but uh, yes, so any thoughts of food and hunger and I'm distracted. To be honest, John, Johnny, I think it's a miracle we've made it to this part of the day. We've done well because when we started this morning at 11am with this Craft Folk show, the wheels were coming off then. So the fact that we've made it through six hours almost of live TV is, is quite, uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to put it on my CV, you know, I'm that proud of it. Uh, right, over to Leanne. Uh, are you ready, Leanne, to uh, wow us with this nativity collection? Absolutely, I am, now that I've found my dice, <laughs> which I had conveniently put in a very safe place. I'm sure you do that at home yourself. You put it somewhere safe and then you can't remember where safe was. All I the time. All the time. Right, we're going to make this. Wow. It's a bit of a statement, isn't it? It's a twofer. And actually, when I made this, I put the sentiment on there, remember the reason for the season. But actually, I want you to pretend that isn't there. Pretend remember the reason for the season isn't okay. there. And actually, this is just a lovely collection for um, sending cards of faith due out mm. during the year. Yeah, so absolutely. if you want to send that for any reason, you are looking for a range which is faith related. I know a number of you are, you were telling me that in the live we did in the Fans of HSN group earlier, um, then this little collection would be perfect to get you on your journey because none of it say, says Christmas, but it looks faith could you use a really lot of this good. for easter maybe as well absolutely easter yeah. so i was thinking you know e easter um with sympathy thinking of you you're having a hard time hang on in there for anybody who would appreciate that this range will be perfect to communicate that for you in this little collection um, and none of the sentiments are in here so you don't have any christmas sentiments at all and i think relevant 
through the whole year. Could be a Holy Communion, could be a christening, could be a confirmation. There are so many occasions in the year that you might want something like this, um, and it will be perfect for that. So what I've done is put this um, cut and emboss folder through the junior with a piece of watercolour card, and you can see how fabulous the cut is because I'm not having to use anything other than rubbing my fingers across the watercolour card, I'm thinking, not the, normally the sort of card you'd put through this kind of thing, so it's really great that it will cut through that. Oh yes, I mean, and I love to use watercolour card in this way with our cut and emboss folders because I'm going to use some ink and um, obviously watercolour card takes that kind of ink and that kind of blending better than any other card stuck out there. And so, um, yeah, it's fantastic for that jaw. And I love the textured finish it gives it as well. So you don't always have to use a smooth cardstock. And you're quite right, communicates the quality of these folders with the cutting and boss detail in there to be able to cut a piece of watercolour card as efficiently as that with Wonderful. all of that beautiful raised embossed detail on there too there you can see it when i tip it like that it's absolutely gorgeous so i'll just move that to one side because we've got that all popped out now and then we're going to cut our next pieces and then we'll do all of the coloring so the next pieces i've got are my dies of mary and joseph and the baby jesus which i think is a lovely die set i really really love it so i'm going to cut the matte and layer out in a white card and actually Joe, I'm going to do that in watercolour card too. I've got it pre-prepared in a flat stamping card but you know what I've, I'm, I'm going against my own good advice there. Ooh. I'm going to do it with the watercolour card because I want it to match in with the um, the piece that I've just cut and embossed which I, oh there it is, I thought I'd thrown it in the bin. <laughs> oh, put it there, put it somewhere safely Ann. Um, for goodness sake woman. Right, just talking to myself now. I get all the right answers that way. Putting my mat in there down, and that's on a piece of watercolour cardstock, popping it through the junior. Is your junior your go-to machine when you're crafting at home? Sorry? Is your junior your go-to machine when you're crafting at home? Yes. Junior is my go-to machine. You're like Craig. See, Fiona, she crafts all the time with a larger machine. Yes. It's interesting watching everyone, uh, how they choose to craft. My Craig must will, if, admit. If Craig has one demo in the middle of the show that involves the big, the big Gemini, he will get the big Gemini out halfway through the show, do that demo, and they'll put it away and get his junior back out again. That's I know how much he loves, he loves it. it. And so you see, the thing is, I have the Gemini at home. I have them bought, well, I have all of them. Let's just be honest. Um, and my junior is my go-to. However, when I've got the Gemini out, I just use my Gemini plates with ways, my junior plates with ways in the, Gem I see. In the Gemini. So I get the same speed of craft and the same smaller mm. plate size. I think a lot of the time, for example, Craig, you just want to wait for the big plate to go through. Mm. So just use your junior plates in your Gemini with ways and you get the same speed of craft and no compromise on performance. Can you use the big Gemini plates with ways in the massive gemini in the pro yes. yeah oh gosh that feels like some sort of like you know some sort of magic trick it's fantastic isn't it we do it with all of the machines that way so that you can get the most value out of them and you can buy another set of plates so you, what we would always say to you is the best advice for you all at home is to buy the biggest machine you can afford and then buy all of the other plates that will go in with ways right i see and it may, it, may, it essentially gives you two machines and one Mm. because it does exactly the same just in Great the speed. Do you see what I mean? So now I've got the detail die here of Mary Joseph and Baby Jesus and I'm going to cut that into a piece of black card. So I'm just layering this one up as well and I'm going to run this through my junior. Mary in Tennessee, who often gets in touch with us, lovely, a friend of the show. So her go-to machine is now her MIDI. Oh, the mm. MIDI is a good machine. I do like the MIDI. It's, I mean, you've got all of the power of your junior, but in a manual machine with that folder-based system, you don't have to worry about your plates, do you? You just pick up your die, put it in um, the folder, and whiz it through, and it's done. Yeah. Same with the MINI. I mean, it, they are. Every one of our machines are fantastic and deserve a place where they are in the range. Absolutely. Just depending on what you want to do. So now I'm going to pop this out and there's a little release hole here with my porky tool and I've done that because I want to gently peel this up and away because what it does give me, you'll see, is a beautiful fine outline of this design and a really beautiful, look at that, a really very beautiful fine, fine outline. Really look like at that. that. I mean, the delicacy on that is truly exquisite 
and really, really of awesome. Uh, uh, Mariel's sensitivity collection is one unique set. It's so hard to find faith based cards and products. Uh, so, really glad that I have this set uh, at, in my craft room. Great point. Um, absolutely, it is. And it, I mean, I know this range was developed as we called it nativity because it was developed as a you know as a christmas collection but it does not have to be that it really is and look this is just a beautiful um angel uh, cut uh, cut and emboss folder with that beautiful angel design in there and you've got your star of bethlehem at the top there which is fabulous that that can be for any occasion during the year it doesn't have to be christmas and again this this is just a really lovely faith based image which could be used for anything joe mm, absolutely so we're going to color it up now we're going to use our harmony water reactive we're going to use our oblong blending tool well, you're calling it oblong. I thought oblong was... Oblong isn't oblong the shape of the ink pads. No, that's oval. The ink oval. pads are oblong. No, they're oval. Mm, I don't think an oblong has got... I don't think oblong has got... Um, yeah, they definitely do. Core square corners. Yes, they do. Let me know in the comments. Please does an oblong... everybody tell Joe. Does an oblong have square corners yes. or does it have rounded corners? No, Let me know. Definitely not. Oh, it's rectangular, apparently. This is rectangular, but an oblong is rectangle. But uh, yes, that's what uh, Charlotte is saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, you are correct. I know. <laughs> I know I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. I'm wrong. It was oh, never dear. in any. It was never in. It was never in contact. Johnny's confused. Doesn't make much. Doesn't make much change there. Um, four holidays. So she's got Craig on the big telly and me and you on the tablet. Best of both worlds. Oh, that uh, is I'm not sure how I feel about Craig's got the uh, TV and we've got the yes, tablet. This is very true. Get Craig off the big telly. Get us on the big telly. Get Craig. Well, he's finished tablet. now, so she probably maybe she, maybe four holidays has got us back off on the big oh, telly. Okay. All right. Then. Who knows? Yeah. We deserve Who, the big telly, George. Should we do a little bit of a straw poll? Actually, who watches us? How? Let me know in the comments if you watch us on your laptop, on your iPad, iPad and phone. So let's put them down as the same thing. So let's say laptop, device or TV. Let us know in the comments how you watch. The nice. poor so social media superstars are going to be hating me now, aren't they? Having to put them all into the... Uh, into our little uh, WhatsApp chat group. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Let's do a straw poll. I'm going to say most people watch us on an iPad slash device. I think you were probably right with that. I do a lot of my viewing in that way now, Joe, you know. Um, and I do it with, because Mr. C's watching horrific things on the TV. That horrific I things? Watch. Well, I'm mean, not horrific in terms of, you know, scary horrific. Oh, but just things that you don't want to watch. Stuff like I don't want clash to documentaries and stuff like that. Like clash documentaries yeah. and mountain biking down a hill things and just boring. Just Bond. You need to tell Mr. Chivs if he hasn't seen it to watch a documentary on Netflix called Icarus. He would absolutely love it. Well, I love it. Do you? Have you seen it? No. Oh, will you love it? Yeah, I well, think I so. It. Maybe. Yeah, I Do think you will. If I enjoyed it, you'll enjoy it. Yes, that's true. So yeah. what, would Mr. C enjoy it? Yeah, because there's a lot of sport in it. Oh. It's, around, it's all based around sport. I know, but give it a go. You'll love it. We have worked out... Uh, in the break, between shows, myself, Leanne, we consulted with Sarah and Taylor from social media that Bridgerton isn't just saucy, it is extremely saucy. And uh, we should probably say, if you haven't watched it, expect a lot of sauce. In fact, if it was a sauce, it would be hot sauce. That's how saucy it is. Yeah, it would be habanero. It would be. It would be scotch bonnet, wouldn't it? It would be scotch bonnet saucy, yes, because yeah. everybody reminded me of some of the things that happened. And then yeah. I had to backtrack and say, oh, yes, you're right. It probably is a little bit saucy. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. I hope we clear that up for anyone. Yeah. We don't want you spitting your coffee out this morning watching uh, Bridgerton oh, gosh, no, on our say-so. And also, um, if you don't like sauce, you don't want to watch that. Sorry? If you don't like sauce. If you don't like a sauce, you no. You don't want to watch it, no. Because you can't avoid it. If that makes sense. Right, so I've used my <laughs> yellow and orange... Harmony Water Reactive ink pads here and I've just coloured up on my uh, cut and emboss folder and I've also coloured the background that I cut out with that matinee dye for my Mary, uh, Mary Joseph and Baby Jesus. And we can now start putting our card together. So I've got an 8x8 eight eight card base and then from those fabulous card pads on the show, Joe, the textured card stock, I've got lots of mats and layers for you. So I'm going to be using my Kalal All-Purpose Glue. 
and we're using the cardstock that is also in those pads for you as well and we're doing lots and lots of mats and layers um, here for you so the first one I'm doing is orange and then I'm going to do a little black mat and layer and mat and layer mat and layer mat and layer because it really does make your designs pop I've been crafting for more years than I care to admit to and in all of those years whenever anybody asks me if how can I make my cards go to the next level Leanne I've always said by a very good guillotine mat and layer mat and layer mat and layer um, it is the top thing even the simplest arrangement of just a sentiment in the middle of a card would be elevated by some good matting and layering absolutely i've been saying it for about 15 years honestly joe it's it's so so important and you can see there that has built up a really lovely base card and how it looks like a beautiful framed picture now i've got my um, cut and emboss folder there we go and I've got a little bit of black card to have a little pop of an edge around that just the tiniest edge that's all you need to make it stand out and it puts that lovely black card in the background so I'm back to my all-purpose again and I'm just taking this around the periphery of that lovely design there we go it reminds me of uh, my I went to Jerusalem when I was in uh, Israel and it reminds me of a lot of this collection of going there uh, and also I went to the Vatican as well. And it feels strange saying this, but the two places are very similar. Although they're nothing alike oh, at the same time. I loved the Vatican when I went. Yeah, the Vatican was great. Yeah, That, absolutely that fantastic. museum is big though. And you know, when we went, we went to St. Paul's in Rome. Or is it St. Peter's? St. Paul's? St. Peter's. Is it St. Peter's? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a thing called Peter, you'd think I would know that. We went to St. Peter's in Rome and uh, we went up into the viewing gallery and there was like singing there was some school kids and we went into the viewing gallery and there was somebody leading the singing with a white skull cap on mm. and i said to my husband that's the pope he said don't be ridiculous the pope isn't just going to be here today just because we're you know because i said i'm telling you he's got the school children in it's the pope didn't believe me on the way out grabbed someone who looked like they would know and said was that the pope they said yes he had mm. made he was there so we watched the pope singing with them um, with school kids. Mm. Wasn't that nice? That stuff doesn't happen every time you Which go Which one was it? The... Oh. The, what, the current one or the, the one before? The current one. Yeah. Yes, the, 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 the youngish, modernish one. The, I modern. don't think any of them are young, but uh, well, the South not... American one. Yes. Pope Francis. Him, yes. Pope Francis, yes. yes. Well, I was in, Italy, I was in Rome um, and did a tour of the Vatican and was offered an audience, tickets to see it, to an audience with the Pope. Uh, as many people are, you know, th there's five or six thousand people at an audience with a Pope. Every, not just me, can you imagine? Hang on, Joe Remnants from Shopping Telly's here, get him an audience with a Pope. There's me turning up, turn up with a ciabatta and a glass of, uh, and a glass of red wine, a glass of Chianti. No, it wasn't like that. Um, and anyway, and some we didn't beans. wake up early enough. Basically, we had a one, we had one too many Vespers the night before. Uh, in a, a very nice cocktail bar. Didn't get up early enough. So by the time we got to the Vatican to do the tour, we had missed, unfortunately, uh, the audience with the Pope. And it turned out that it was the it was Pope Benedict um, Pope Benedict's last ever audience, because uh, obviously then he um, stood down as the Pope. That had never happened before. So it was like. It was, an, a, 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 you know, it was unbelievable that we'd missed out on the last ever Pope before he stood down. And I think even the used ticket stubs were going for like hundreds and hundreds of euros on uh, eBay afterwards. Yeah. There's my Pope story. Well, that top The cocktails right? were, I'll tell you. Say, I mean, it was a, a very famous hotel at the top of the Spanish Steps. If you go to Rome, get yourself up there. there. Honestly. Fabulous. Fabulous. However, if we're gonna if we're gonna top Trump Pope stories, I think yours wins. Do you? I yeah. think yours is good. No, I think yours. You is saw good. the actual Pope. I got drunk and missed the Pope. No. Um, and then after that, he wasn't two weeks later. He wasn't even the Pope anymore. No, but but I just saw the top of the Pope's head. Sorry. I just saw the top of the Pope's head. Well, I didn't see any of the Pope. White hat. Yeah, I didn't see but any I heard of the him Pope. Singing. Do you know I do like their outfits though? The guards, the Swiss guards. They're amazing. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, I want one of them. Those pantaloon things. Yes, and they I love the colours because they're like blue and orange and yeah, and yeah gold love them. And gorgeous and there's some red in there. Looks and really how lovely. breathtaking is the Sistine Chapel? <gasps> when you go in and you look up. When we went, our tour guide said, don't look up until you get to the very middle of the room. And then when you get to the middle of the room, look up. 
Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, do you know what? I actually, I had an emotional moment. Did you? Yeah, I found it quite emotional. Honestly, I found I it very emotional. I didn't think I would. Uh, because it has got that feel and that air about it, which is amazing. Mm. I just found, I found the whole experience truly incredible. Um, if you haven't been... Time and you want to get a look at the inside of the Sistine Chapel, you're not allowed to take photos at the inside the Sistine Chapel. No. It's completely forbidden, so there's not really any pictures of it. However, if you watch The Two Popes on Netflix, they recreated the Sistine Chapel for The Two Popes. And I had to Google it afterwards, Leanne, because I thought it actually was the Sistine Chapel. It is that accurate. Oh, really? Mm. So there you go, that The Two amazing, Popes on Netflix. That's incredible. Well, there we go. My card is finished, and I'm not going to put my sentiment on. What I've done is, on the little piece that I coloured here, I just ran this black outline through the Xyron. You could use your dotty tape pen if you want to as well, to just pop that on there. And then I've put that on there with some foam pads. You could use your 3D glue gel. Now, when I don't put, remember the reason for the season on there, and you think of, an, you put another sentiment on there that is appropriate, that is just We could put the quote of the day on there. I, you could just handwrite it, I got drunk and missed the Pope. You could write that, yes? Yeah. You could. I don't think you would, though. No, no. you wouldn't. Of course um, you would. I think that could just be a lovely faith-based card. So if you're thinking about wanting those in your, in your stash or you're wanting something a little bit more faith-related, then this collection will do that for you because it does not scream Christmas at all. Um, and so many different ways you can use them. Both of the embossing folders in there are fantastic. And this particular die of Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus actually is one of my favourites and do you know what this also I'm just thinking what this would also be amazing for bear in mind I'm a new grandma wouldn't that be lovely as a faith based new baby card oh yes that would be awesome oh I love that idea I think mm. and if you didn't want the star you could snip the star you wish off. you'd have thought about that before you planned this demo now don't you I really do because I wished I'd done I could that see, now. I could see the FOMO in your face yeah I have got I have got FOMO about that I really wished I'd done that but you're going to be able to do it when you get it home. It's yeah. an amazing collection. Really Please. nice statement pieces. Beautiful product. Um, yeah, I think just get them and you'll be using them all year round. Yeah, absolutely you will. And remember you've got a 30% saving on this. Let me quickly run through what you're getting again in here. So you're getting Star of Wonder. You are also getting Christmas Angel, which is that one just there. And you're also getting A King is Born as well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So make sure uh, you grab those whilst they're on such an awesome deal, actually. Now... Oh, should we see what the, um, oh, when Mary Rounds went to the Vatican, it was 106 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm guessing. Um, oh, because honestly, well, 106 degrees Celsius, you'd cook, wouldn't you? Uh, you'd be like an oven-ready chicken. Uh, Mary says, uh, going to Rome is on my bucket list. You should absolutely go. Teresa has been to Rome and Jerusalem. Such awesome religious experiences. Uh, right, should we hear about how people watch us? Are you ready? So, oh, no, I've lost me. Here we go. Malia says telly, uh, device and laptop says Lou, Carolan, mostly TV, sometimes device, Diana says iPhone, Lindsay says TV, Diane watches us on the iPad so she can take us all over the house while I do things, sounds wonderful, uh, Renee says iPad here, unless in the dungeon, god these are getting sinister, uh, she says my craft room, then on my laptop, uh, Mary says you're on my iPad and Craig on the phone would prefer TV but then hubby would interrupt too much, he loves to chat. Yeah, just time to pipe down, Mary. Uh, Four Holidays says, on both, depending on what I'm doing, I respond on the phone and like to watch on the big screen. There you are. Um, Malia says, what a wonderful idea. And that was a beautiful card, that last one there as well. Now, we've got some flower forming foam on the show for you. I love this. Do you know what I think so awesome about our I'm going to ask, in fact, I'm going to tell you what's included first, because otherwise you will not shut me up. And then I'm going to have the chat with Leanne about it afterwards. So what you're going to get in here is you're going to get seven sheets of the foliage green, which is absolutely perfect uh, for a whole host of different floral projects. And then you're going to get seven of the white. And you know what you might be thinking? Well, I don't want to make all white flowers. You don't need to because you can colour this up exactly how you see fit with your aqua markers, your alcohol markers, your um, oil pastels, whatever you want, you can colour this up with. So it means that you can then make any, any colour. You're going to get as well the, the lily, which is awesome. It's going to be great to use with a white card. You're going to get the doily basin border, which is great for 
grounding your projects. And then you're also going to get the stamens in white as well. Dip these stamens in your aqua tinks or your sparkle inks, and then you can colour the stamens up uh, yourself as well, which is brilliant. And these are some of the uh, beautiful floral projects that you're going to be able to make uh, with these. The thing is, I think, and um, I know Leanne will agree, there's lots of different systems out there when it comes to um, you know creating foam flowers. With ours, the fact that that uh, foam is heat set makes such a huge difference because a lot of other um, brands out there, you know, they look great when they've been made, they just don't seem to keep their form. The fact that ours is heat activated seems to really set it and allow it to keep its form, which is awesome. Loads of you still chatting away in the comments. Uh, Cheryl says, Joe, you're making me laugh so much. Keep it going. Well, I, try, I mean, a lot of it's unintentional, Cheryl, I'm afraid. Um, Oh, Astrid says, I wonder what's going on. Where is the one where it's going? Uh, Astrid says, I'm watching you in bed in my tiger onesie on my laptop. Uh, Astrid, that sounds awesome. It must be cold in Oxfordshire, Astrid, uh, if you've got a tiger onesie on. Don't get too near to the two-bar heater. Not a good idea. Uh, Malia uh, says as well how much she loved that last uh, card of... Um, that last card of Leanne's. Let me just quickly share with you the spiral dies as well. Are these? Yeah, they are the spiral dies. You've got the right ones. Um, right, let me just uh, pop that down over there and share these with you. Uh, because these have been really popular. Not, I'm pretty sure these were a fairly recent launch, these, you know. It's great to have these already on the craft file. You've got three different styles in here. So you've got the flower, which is that one just there, as you can see. You've also going to receive in this collection the circle, which is that one there. And you're going to get this one here, which is going to be perfect for all of those Valentine's cards that Craig is no doubt going to make. Uh, you can see all of those as well. They're £33 or $38 if you want to get your hands on those ones. Um, right, uh, back to Leanne. A bit of flower form, you know. I was talking there, Leanne, about how awesome our flower forming foam is, which I think is the key, isn't it? To If you don't have good quality foam when you're flower forming, well, you may as well forget about the rest of it because you're just not going to have something that looks awesome. Absolutely. And you hear me say this so many times, but you know, this is why we bring brilliant product to you. Our flower forming foam is proprietary to Crafters Companion. We tested lots of different forms that are just very easily to access. None of them performed as we wanted them to perform. And so we had form made specifically for our flower forming form dies and that is the form we would bring to you time and time again so it molds it takes its shape easy you've got lovely stretch in it it will distress easy um, it will hold its shape once your flowers being molded it's not as um femma as some so it doesn't rip and tear as easily as some however it's still beautifully delicate it is a very unique form to crafters companion and everything we do um, so what I've done is, rather than you watching me do lots of cutting out, I thought, let's just focus on the flower forming. So I've taken the die set and I have cut myself several of these different little shapes of floral, um, which are in here. And you can see they're all based on the set. So I've cut myself out a whole pile of those from white flower forming foam. OK, and I've also done myself the little doily and I've also done myself the little lace edge which I'm going to use in putting the card together okay so they're all ready to go now I've also got my stamens ready here um, and my stamens I have ready wired so let me just talk to you what does that mean so I've taken I'm just going to show you with a couple of spare ones here this is where I just get some craft wire or you can get flower arranging wire whatever you want I've just got lots of craft wire at home like jewelry wire so I use that put a little collection of your stamens together in your hand fold them in half and where it meets in a v here that's where you would thread through your craft wire and when you've got your craft wire through twist it closed and that then gives you a long wire piece for you to be able to poke that in through to put your stamens in your petals okay so i've got a couple of those prepared as well um, just so that you can, you knew how I was going to do them. I've got lots of flowers pre-prepared too, but I wanted to take you through all of the stages um, that we've got. So first things first, let's colour them up. So I've got three of my classique markers here. And before we shape these, I'm going to colour them. So I've got a lovely peach colour 
Um, I've got neutral brown. I've got moonlight, I think it is, yes, and bamboo. So firstly, I'm going to go with my moonlight. And this is a lily we're creating. So I'm going to have colour in the centre. And it doesn't have to be too precise. You're giving an approximation. Um, and you see, all I'm doing is stroking the colour up the centre of the petal. And I'm going to do that on all three. There we go. And then I'm going to take the neutral brown, the beigey colour that I've got, the top. Uh, now, you're using alcohol markers here to do this. What else could we use instead? Could we use, um, I don't know the answer to this, but ink pads. Could you use your ink pads to colour your foam up? Absolutely, you can. And actually, we'll do one. Why not? Um, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, very, very easy to do. Yes, you can use your pigment ink pads. You can use um, you can use your Harmony Water Reactive. You can use your Quick Dry. I'm using the alcohol marker here. Do you see how I spread that out a little bit more just by using my chisel nib? I'm just going to clean that off um, there. And I've gone a little bit darker with the colour on this one. But, you know, you can do it more subtly or you can do it darker. It's entirely up to you. And then I'm going to do some little dots. And lilies are uh, my, my favourite flower, my mum's favourite flower. My mum, she's 60 next week. Oh. So I've had to order flowers. Oh, will she be watching, Joe? She won't be watching, uh, no. She'll be watch what will she be watching now? Quarter to eight? She doesn't watch the early, she doesn't watch these eve, the eve, the last show. She watches some of the early shows so I can talk about it. Yeah, so obviously we're not allowed to see each other, which is, mm. um, you know, which is tough when it's your mum's 60, if you know, she's only 60 once. Uh, but it's just the way, we just all got to get on with it, haven't we? And do our best and, we uh, you know, we'll be able to celebrate again some other time. So I sent her a bottle today of, you know, the champagne that we like, the one that's not too fizzy. Nice. A bottle of that scent. Nice. I've ordered an afternoon tea to be sent as well for a day of her birthday. Brilliant. With the whole accoutrement. Because the ones online, some of them were just like, basically scones and cream and a bottle of, a bottle of Prosecco. So I've got to manage to find a proper one with like sandwiches, pastry all the whole shebang so hopefully she likes that as well um and of course sending her uh, some lilies as well so uh yes and then i'm going to give her a, a voucher leanne yeah so she can cash it for whatever she wants so it nice. either be like a spa break or like mm. a little weekend uh, city break the two of us or maybe like a few days on the beach somewhere so i thought if i give her a voucher then she can just do it whenever i think that's a beautiful jaw yeah, it's so love hard isn't it to know what to do mm. It is, absolutely it is. I think they're beautiful presents. And if your mum watches this back, happy birthday, Karen. Oh, she will. We wish her happy birthday on. Well, yeah, she, imagine if she is watching and I've just completely spoiled all of her surprises. <gasps> she won't be watching. She, she won't. won't be watching. I know she won't. So you would just go ahead and colour all of these in and use whichever colours you like and some little dots in the centre of a lily um, are just as lovely to uh, just lovely to have in so you can you can make it into whatever floral you want but i'm making lilies and i've got a lot of these ready now to form to flower form up so i've got all of my colored little pieces here and that's when you bring your iron in when you bring your sponge in and when you have your ball tool ready i also need and i'm going to get some tweezers um, and i think i'll just use my foil press i tweezers. feel like you've got a new iron or a special iron. Well, I've this is not Sarah's iron. I mean, this is, I've never seen this before. This is just, this, is, this was just, so if this is somebody else's, I'm sorry I'm using it. Oh, it's a little iron. It's nice, isn't it? It's I mean, normally little... we have a great big thing, but I, I yeah. quite like this, nice. So it's plugged in, hot, and then what you're going to do is just hold your foam against it. Now, can you see, you're seeing how that was form, forming straight away. And then you take it off and you pop it onto your sponge and then give it a little push with your ball tool and that has formed the perfect petals for your lily. Look awesome. at that, that's pretty, I mean, could not be quicker or easier, Joe. It is absolutely brilliant. So let's just do that again so you can see that again. Take my, with my tweezers, take my flower forming foam over to the iron, hold it on the iron with my ball tool when I think it's got enough shape, the longer you leave it, the more curve it's going to have. It will come away. If you don't want to put your fingers too near your iron, use your tweezers. Straight onto your foam, push it into the foam, and it makes the shape you need beautifully.
for your lily petals. And then when I've got both of those ready, I've now got my little pokey tool, so I would just offset them to make my lily, there we go, make my lily shape. Just move it around till it's in a position you want, there we go, that's perfect. Then I'm going to take my little pokey tool and put on the foam a little hole through the centre. And that's when the pre-threaded stamens that I've done on the little bit of craft wire now go through that hole and they get pulled through just gently. Don't yank it, just pull gently until they protrude at the height you would like them. And, and actually, the great thing about these ones, they're not going to get all over your clothes and all on the window ledge. No. And the dog's not going to run into them and spread them all spread around the all house. It's not going to stain your cream carpet or anything like that with all that yellow on there. And actually, I think uh, lily stamens are quite proud. So I'm going to leave mine out like that. And then this is ready now just to put a little bit of hot glue around the bottom there to stick that on. Um, and that'll just keep that lovely. Would you like to see another one? Have we got time or is that enough? I don't know, Johnny, have we got time? Yeah, we've got time to do more. We've got uh, time to do one more. It is uh, very, very busy uh, on this at the moment. £29. Remember what you're getting in there as well. So you're getting a really good comprehensive bundle because you're getting two packs of the flower forming foam, which is awesome. 14 sheets in total. Seven of the white, seven of the foliage greens, which is awesome. And then what you're also getting is you're getting the stamens and you're getting the both sets of the dies, so you're getting uh, the lilies, which is brilliant, and you're getting that doily and border. What are we going to use that doily and border for, Leanne? Uh, the doily and border is going to be on the centre of my card. So if I just bring that in so you can see that there, can you see it? There we go. So I've got the little border running through the centre and I actually might change the position of it, that's my little sentiment. But the doily is brilliant just to put in the centre and put your flowers all around. Beautiful. Awesome. So I've just uh, shaped one there, so I'm going to take my little ball tool and I'm just pushing it into my sponge. There we go, so there's my next one. And then this one, just hold it on the eye. And actually I talked a little bit too long there, that's gone a little bit flat. So you can, you can go back and warm it again if you want to. You need you to could, work quite quickly while it's warm. With different colour foam, you could make these other flowers, I'm guessing, quite oh, easily clematis. by adding colour. Clematis, I mean, just any kind you could, oh, you could make all sorts, Joe. Yeah, absolutely you can. And fantasy flower, who's to say that it's not an actual floral? We don't need to get too bogged down in the fact that it's actually something that is in the garden. It just looks like a lovely flower on a card. It's okay. But it's is, Mr. Be... is Mr. Chiv's going to, oh, is, no, is he going to be saying, well, you can't have that because if that was a that one, it would be this colour or a... He would absolutely be doing that. Yeah. It would be a nightmare. He, but he's a what is he again, uh, Mr. Chives? Well, he's he's one. Of, he's two things. He's a horticulturist, right, and an arboriculturist. See, I thought an arboriculturist was a really boring horticulturist, but that's not the case, is it? No, he's not a arboriculturist. So horticulture is plants in the garden, right, and arboriculture is trees, right. Because a friend of mine thought that a pescatarian was just a really rude name for a vegetarian. But that's not the case. No, that someone eats like fish. a pesky terrier. Yeah, like oh, these pesky vegetarians, pesky terrier. That's not the case. No. No, it's not. And the same with Mr. C and his horticulture and arboriculture. And so I'm just going to get another threaded little stamen and thread this through. So I've done my pokey tool hole. Put this through. I've lost the pokey tool hole. Let's find it. There it is. If I can get threaded on there, and the second one. Um, Susie T says, I had never thought of colouring the craft foam before. What a great idea. Astrid as well, so I had lilies in my wedding bouquet with roses. Uh, I love them. Uh, Mally is saying just how gorgeous uh, that flower is. Uh, I'm getting good sun points awards from uh, Mary and Caroline and June as well. Uh, so that's always good. Mm. Uh, I wasn't doing it for the admiration, but I will take it all the same. You know me. I'm a sponge when it comes to any kind of attention. So uh, I will soak it up. Okay, so I'm going to, I've done matting and layering with my floral paper here. And actually, if you on launch party were getting the Caring Thoughts range, that Caring Thoughts range with these foam flowers make a marriage in heaven. Um, so if you have got that Caring Thoughts range and you want some beautiful foam flowers to go with, then lilies are the perfect for that, aren't they? Because um, a lot of the time when we're wanting to send Caring Thoughts, lilies are the flower to go to. So I'm going to put that little border across there rather than having it underneath. 
And then I've got lots of my lilies already made. Now, they've been in a bag, so they've getting a little bit flattened, um, but you'll get the idea. Now, what I want to do is just take my scissors and chop off the wire and the stems because I want that to fit quite flat on my card like that. And I've just been warming up my glue gun. Um, a glue gun is definitely the best way for these. Why a glue gun? Because what it does is a hot glue dries quickly. Let's get that glue in there. Where are you? There it is. It dries super quick, but it is ridiculously strong as well, Joe. So it seals the stamens inside with the little holes there. It stops it from moving and it will dry quick. So um, you can position your florals and then, when, and it's very delicate work when you're doing it with these and you want to get them in you know, the right place and have it look beautiful, but you want it to dry quickly and you don't want to knock them out the way. So um, definitely the best way forward in terms of a really pretty little arrangement. <laughs> And you'll put, you see, I'm putting bits of hot glue and then I'm just popping things into it, the little bits of foliage that we've cut out from that same collection in the light colours. And then I'll hide all of this later with um, li lilies on top. So don't worry about if it's a little bit of a, miss, a mess at the beginning, um, you will fix it at the end. Uh, Sharon Callis says, uh, um, the Crafter's Companion flower forming foam is a game changer. I've tried colouring on other foams before and there, was, uh, the, and there was more on my hands than there was on the foam. This foam holds colour like nothing else. Well, thank you, Sharon. Isn't it lovely to have a testament like that from another real professional crafter? Absolutely. Um, and no, and have you all at home be able to buy with confidence and know that what we're telling you is the full truth and nothing Absolutely. but the truth. Um, Evelyn says the paper is just beautiful that you've used there as well. Where's that from, do you know? This was from, um, I think this might have been from the Rose Gold collection actually, oh. Joe. Which is why I'm saying if you didn't get that or if you haven't got it, then um, it would be really good to work with the Caring Thoughts collection that we had on launch party. The Sora, the Sarah one, launch day. Uh, yeah, and again, it's something that will work so much. And I think flower forming is one of those things that you can bring it into any of your collections. Absolutely. And I know we've done some uh, flower forming fun with some of our signature collections, haven't we, previously? So yeah. I know the Rose Gold uh, had it. Also, the Garden of Love um, had some too as well, didn't it? Yes, it did. Absolutely, it did. Um, and we do use it when it's a... Pro oh, actually, this paper is Garden of Love. Ah, OK. Yeah, it, it definitely is, Joe. You're right. This paper is Garden of Love. However, uh, the Caring Thoughts range from launch party would be exquisite. Awesome. Um, Astrid loves the vintage look of this card. Um, Caroline saying, I love how realistic the leaves look. Mary Pat saying, and my daughter's wedding scrapbook album has been paused due to difficulty finding lilies. And now they are blooming everywhere. I love it. Oh, well, I'm glad. Uh, we've got you out of a hole there. Um, Loads of you still chatting away. Uh, we are coming towards the end of this show. Uh, remember, it's the end of the day here on Crafts TV. But don't forget, you've got more shows with uh, Sarah over on HSM throughout the rest of the day. So make sure you do go and join her uh, over there for her shows. This is looking incredible, this card. Really, really is. Uh, if we were going to do a demo of the show, this would have been it. But Craft Folk doesn't get a demo of the show, I'm afraid. Well, I think that's rude. Well... I don't make the rules, I'm afraid. Well, I think I'm going to overrule the rules and put this on the shelf for judging, yeah. Just going to put it on the shelf? Because, yeah, why not? I don't think you can do that, I even think you. I can. Look, I am head of product development. I can do what I like. <laughs> well, I didn't see. Uh, I will grass you up, though. Malia says, <laughs> I tried my hands on flower forming for my mum's card and she loved it. Uh, definitely a different craft experience to try. Need to make even more. Uh, I know we've only got about a minute and a half left on the show. Remember what you're getting included as well in, the, in this bundle. You're getting both of the foams. You're getting two, two of the die sets and you're also getting the stamens as well. Stamens, when it comes to colouring them, my suggestion was to dip them in liquid ink. I don't know if you have a, a preferred way of doing um, it. So Leanne. stamens, to colour them in, you would need to use your alcohol markers. Oh, really? Yes. So use your classic markers or your illustrator or anything like that. Needs to be, they need to be coloured with an alcohol an alcohol ink. 
Okie doke. Uh, that looks gorgeous, Leanne. Thank you. Now, look how quick and easy and how beautiful do they look in the corner. And you see, when I was putting them down, I wasn't worried about little glue strands getting anywhere. And then what we've done is just build up all of those beautiful lilies, pop a little one in the corner, and it looks glorious, doesn't it? That's a really lovely card for somebody. Really beautiful card. Now, looking ahead tomorrow, a new day starting. Uh, you're doing its wake-up call, not with Craig tomorrow, but with Leanne. What can we expect from that? Oh, I've got behind the scenes sneak peeks. I've got live drawing from one of our designers in the studio. We're going to have loads of chat. If you want to know what goes on behind the scenes in product development, then join us because all of your questions can come in and we can look at that. I'm really excited actually, Joe. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be absolutely awesome. You're going to make sure you want to uh, join Leanne for that at 9am uh, here in the UK, which is very early uh, if you're in the States. What time is it? I know it's 1 a.m. on the East Coast, so it must be, what, 4 a.m. Uh, if you're on the West Coast. Uh, it's been a lovely f uh, few days, four days here with you. Uh, ben will be here with you tomorrow for three days. I'll be back with you on Saturday for five days. So uh, I really look forward to seeing you all again then. Um, make sure you behave yourself for Ben, uh, and he'll see you here tomorrow, but not before Wake Up Call with Leanne. So if you're across in the US, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy what's left of your evening if you're here in the UK. Massive thanks to Leanne always. A uh, big thanks to the guys next door in the gallery. And the biggest thanks as always goes to you guys at home. I'll see you back here again soon on Crafters TV. Take care.